All right, lecture 49. Uh, for the uh, kinetic molecular theory or kinetic theory of, of gases, um, uh, you, there are five postulates. And I, sh I should have just written them down, but I said in your own words. On my exams, I, uh, you know, you, you can memorize it. If you want to put it down exactly as you find it in the, the book, that's fine. Uh, but in your own words is fine. Postulate one, uh, gases are composed of molecules whose size is negligible compared to the average distance between them. So uh, gases are composed of molecules whose size is negligible. You could also say that molecules are point particles. We say that, that they don't really have a, a size to them. So that's important. That postulate means that we don't have to worry about the, the size of molecules, which means we don't have to worry about their geometry. Uh, we don't have to uh, worry about what they look like. We just assume that they're these point particles, and it makes life a lot easier when we do the calculations. It's also a very good approximation, and it is an approximation, but it's a very good one because the gases are so far from each other, or gas molecules are so far from each other most of the time that they, they might as well be point particles. Postulate two, molecules move randomly in straight lines in all directions at various speeds. So um, molecules move at random in straight lines at various speeds. Uh, it's important to know that that molecules don't curl and, and um, do all kinds of weird movements in uh, on their own. The only time they're going to change their direction is if they strike another molecule or the wall. But if they're on their own, and most of the time they are, they're traveling in straight straight lines. And uh, but there's a variety of speeds. Some molecules are stopped dead cold in in. Uh, the gas phase, just for a moment, because they've been struck just right so that they just freeze there. Others are traveling at tens of meters a second, some hundreds of meters per second. There are even some that are traveling at thousands of meters per second, just because they've had just the right boost to get them to that point. But So gases are moving all over the place in straight lines until they hit something and going at various speeds. Postulate three, the forces of attraction or repulsion between two molecules are very weak. So the, uh, you could say the intermolecular forces between gas molecules are very weak. You could say negligible too. They essentially are. The only time they really have an effect on each other is when they, they collide. Postulate 4, when molecules collide, the collisions are elastic. So you can just put collisions are elastic since we're talking about gas molecules. Elastic means that there's no, the total energy is not lost, none of the energy is lost to friction or, or to heat. We know this is true because uh, you just have to sit around, you know, most gas molecules are, are colliding. Uh, it's probably, uh, I have to stop and think about it for a second, but it's, it's millions or billions of times a second. Uh, let me see, so, so 10, Uh, times about 10, traveling at about uh, 400 meters per second. Yeah, so um, I get just a real quick calculation that around, um, uh, so 400 billion times per second you'd expect for molecule, some molecule traveling at four, 400 meters per second uh, to run into others. So they're hitting each other all the time. If there is any friction, that is any energy lost to heat, um, molecules would fall out of the sky very, very quickly. They lose all of their energy within a matter of a fraction of a second. So since they're elastic, that means that even though they might slow down, uh, if they slow down, it means that they've helped some other molecules speed up. And so they don't lose any energy uh, to heat. And then postulate, so it's uh, the opposite of the elastic collision is inelastic. That means that, uh, and that's what happens when you have, uh, say, pool balls on a uh, table. When you break, uh, playing shooting game of pool, the uh, the balls eventually stop moving. Not only um, due to uh, 
friction of the table, but just when they collide with each other, they, they give up some of the energy as uh, heat and uh, random motion inside of the pool balls. And that would happen to molecules as well if they had inelastic collisions. Postulate 5, the average kinetic energy of a molecule is proportional to the absolute temperature. So uh, kinetic energy is proportional to absolute temperature. Absolute, so we're talking about the Kelvin temperature scale. So as the temperature goes up, the kinetic energy goes up. So the, the higher the temperature, the faster the molecules move. And that's about all we need here.